Hi, welcome to this session. So in this session, we will talk about uh, uh, image clustering. So we are going to cluster the data. I mean, we are going to cluster the image data by using k-means algorithm. I hope um, you all uh, know the basic things about the k-means algorithm. In case if you don't have an, any idea, please refer my earlier videos. It is in the corner. Okay, let's begin to how to apply the cluster in the image data. So as you all uh, as you all very know, very little know that a machine learning algorithm will work only with numbers. So in case in those case we have images. So we need to convert those images into numbers. That is the first step. But luckily I got a data set which is have already converted those images into numbers. So when it comes to images, uh, so when it, uh, the images are going to convert in each pixel. In case if you have 25 pixel images so it's going to be convert in numbers which means 25 into 25 have a total of multi column which you are going to get okay let us see the data set uh, what i have maybe i can if you want the data set you can download the link below which is available in the github okay before to start uh, we need to remember uh, two things uh, like uh, ML framework, I mean the TensorFlow usually deal with list of images only in four dimension. So the four dimension means the first one, uh, it may be the number of images and next three is the uh, the shape of the images. I mean, uh, if it is uh, color images, so it should become as RGB index. If it is in gray images, then it falls between, um, uh, between zero to one because gray images is uh, measured by using the only density so it should comes always falls under between 0 and 1 and one more thing which we need to remember the images should be in all in same size okay when we are going to apply uh, the i mean the algorithm so whatever data set you have that image size should be in all in same size okay here i have the data set um, uh, which is already uh, available in csv format Okay, here I'm using Jupyter Notebook uh, for my demonstration. In case if you don't know how to install and how to use the Jupyter Notebook, maybe you can refer my earlier videos. Uh, so I have covered uh, the basic things about the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, let's start this uh, uh, session. Um, here I have imported libraries NumPy, Pondas, and Matplotlib. So NumPy and Pondas is for data manipulation, and the Matplotlib is for data visualization. Okay, I am going to execute this cell by using Shift Enter. Okay, it's got executed. So remaining here, I'm adding that library like uh, k-means and then metrics algorithm. Uh, so I have imported, and then I am going to add the training data into that image data variable. If you see here, it's getting added. We have to wait. Yes, it's done. So if you see here, um, okay, luckily we got a label also in this data set. Here, if you see one means it's a handwritten images for one so those pixel is which is available like in some native column as i said earlier it is 25 pixel 25 pixel so um if you multiply the two pixel by 25 and 25 you got the total columns okay if you want to see the shape of the image data we'll see see here we have some native columns we have like uh, 42,000 images are there so we are going to train those images okay not by using this k-means algorithm okay let us see the what are labels are available in this data set okay as you see here um maybe we can sort or sort out this one okay if we put a place sort out. okay okay if you see here uh, we have the hundred and digits like zero to nine in this data sets uh, that is that's why we have got the zero one two three labels okay and then okay so i think for applying uh, uh, clustering we don't need uh, labels so we need to uh, drop those labels because we are going to find the labels by using clustering algorithm so for that i am going to drop the label from the data set see if you see here i drop this label image data set to drop good job okay uh, we have only now 74 columns okay now if you see here uh, image labels i have copied those image labels for this uh, testing purpose okay image labels start head off okay next thing is 
okay now if we want to visualize those images the random image images we need to apply the plot so if you see here i'm going to take the image labels um, this is one function we need to pass the index so if we pass the index it will uh, return the images images so here i have applied a uh, created on index and then we are going to print the uh, digit what's the index and then we are going to plot so here i have the reshape in 28 and 28 because it is one dimensional when we are going to plot it needs to be converted into two dimensional that is the reason i used reshape uh, reshape function here i am going to run this okay so now we are going to apply the index so now i am applying 5 so you got uh, z i mean see digit 0 so it is look like uh, the symbols like in a 0 uh, we want to change try something okay now if the third one is uh, four okay if we take this one this is six okay that means looks like six okay okay now it's done um we have prepared that uh, data that is available in that image fuser so now we are going to train the cayman's algorithm by using this data set so we, i took the image label separately because after we find out that uh, labels by using the k-means clustering we need to compare those labels with the real data then we can get the uh, accuracy of the model okay so i'm going to so here if you see the cluster is 10 we know that it we know that only the 10 um, uh, clusters will be available in the data set because that are uh, labels we have only 10 0 to 10 so i have given the cluster as 10 and then iteration is a thousand so maximum it code up to thousand iteration so this is the if it dot image features is the data set okay now it's done and then we are going to centroids so centroids means um, the k-minus cluster algorithm uh, will work by based upon the centroids so it will create a 10 different types of centroids in the data set and it make on 10 different types of cluster based upon the closing um, features in the centroid in case if you don't know uh, the if you want to know more about centroids please refer my earlier videos i, I explained uh, more details in the, those videos if you see here the shape of the centroid is 10 okay okay now that uh, our model has got predicted labels if you see the labels it almost the labels which we have the, all the data I mean all the labels like 0 1 2 3 so we got all the prediction now we are going to compare this I mean predicted labels with our original labels so image system I'm going to execute this one we got this okay now uh, we got uh, that the predicted labels in the image test labels I'm going to convert in this array okay i'm going to predict those uh, features i mean the, the uh, k means model okay that it's called predicted and it's called saved in the predict clusters now we are going to compare the actual digit and the predicted uh, clusters the predicted cluster is nothing but uh, it's a predicted output this is uh, what we have already saved in that uh, uh, labels okay now we got the output so this is actual digit this is a predicted uh, output so cluster is always uh, starts with index okay so in case so if you want to view the output we need to show the centroids first for centroids means the k-means model has created one centroids which will start from the index so if you see here this is 0 1 2 3 this is index we need to compare the output with this centroid data so here you have 8 8 means uh, 0 index is 0 but it is got uh, okay it's got we can compare it is, i mean which is strongly predicted as a uh, fifth one i mean what is fifth so see if 8 got predicted as 3 that is wrong okay we can try the next one the 5 is predicted as index 1 so 5 is predicted as 1 see here it's got predicted exactly and the next uh, 9 9 is in the 5 index 9 5 okay see 9 is got predicted as 5 Fifth index mostly that uh, it got predicted accurately but still we need to uh, retain the model 
maybe we can apply some special techniques to apply the model to get through the accuracy uh, maybe in the next video i will share those techniques how to improve the accuracy of those models okay um, please um, share your comments and the likes